The Coronavirus Narcissism in the Media The coronavirus is the name given for hundreds of viruses that can cause fever, respiratory problems and sometimes gastrointestinal symptoms. Since becoming apparent in China in December, it has made over 100,000 people sick and it has killed more than 3,000 people. It is not currently known how the coronavirus spreads from person to person. As you may know, I have been travelling through Asia over the last few months. Some people might say that I am at risk of contracting the coronavirus. But I don't believe so. I am not afraid. And I am going to be continuing my travels through Asia. There is plenty of information about the coronavirus on the internet, both facts and opinions. So I'm not going to give detailed information on the coronavirus. Instead, I would like to discuss how it has become a tool for narcissists to use. Both narcissists in position of power and in the media are using the coronavirus to provoke fear within us. It is designed to keep us in a lower vibration. It is designed to keep us under control. And I want you all to be aware of this. They are using it to make us feel fear caused by the threat of danger or harm. But the risk of any danger or harm is greatly exaggerated. It is highly unlikely that any of us will contract the coronavirus. But even if we did, as long as we're healthy, it would be more likely that we would spread the virus than to get sick ourselves. It is mainly the elderly and people with chronic conditions who are more likely to be sick. People who already have underlying health conditions. I'm not saying that the coronavirus doesn't pose a risk to our health. I'm just saying that it's exaggerated in the media and they're using it as a way to provoke fear within us. Some celebrities are even trying to capitalize on it when it's really not as bad as they're making it out to be. Statistics show that so far it has killed over 3,000 people. And while that may seem like a lot, the flu kills 646,000 people every year. That's over 200 times more. So why are they obsessively promoting this information about the coronavirus? Why are they exaggerating it when there are far greater threats? It's because it's something new, something different. Other than the flu, which we are already sensitized to, it no longer makes us fearful. So now, they're using the coronavirus as something to make us afraid. Something to keep us under control. I'm not saying that it's not a danger to our health. And I think it's good to be aware of it. But we don't have to live in fear. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcissworthercoaching at gmail.com. 
Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.